Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I bet you're wondering why I'm not wearing any lipstick. And that is because today we are trying out the Glam Glow Plumperageous Matte Primer. Oh yes. This is like basically, this is a brand new, not really brand new, but it's a new product from Glam Glow. Um, I am obsessed with Glam Glow products. I love the masks. I love the daily cleaning Glam Glows, whatever. Um, they're my absolute favorite. So I was like, oh, might as well try this, see if I like it. Um, this one is actually the matte base. There's two of them. They come in two different kinds. One is a lip gloss that you apply over your lipstick. And this one goes under your lipstick and, um, and it's matte. I don't know if it makes your lipstick matte, I'm not sure. But the girl at Sephora told me that it works with any lipstick. So it can go under like a creamy lipstick or a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick. So I wanted to try it today with a liquid lipstick and see how it goes. So on the box, it's it claims that lips feel primed, plump, and look perfect for sexy, kissable lips. No one's kissing me. May cause an intense single tingling sensation. Great. I mean, that's to expect from plumpers. It doesn't even have any directions. All right, well, I guess we'll just put it on and hope for the best, but expect the worst. All right, so here's the tube. It says Glam Glow on one side. Hope you can see that. Glam Glow, and on the other side, it just has the Glam Glow star. And what you do, you don't pull it or anything like that. You twist it, and then the little cap thingy comes off, and then you pull this out carefully. Okay, cool. Like that. It smells minty. I'm quite nervous. But before I put it on, let's get some close-ups. So this is, these are my lips with nothing on them. Um, I don't have any chapstick on or anything. I actually just exfoliated them with the um, e.l.f. lip exfoliator that's shaped like a lipstick. It's actually my absolute favorite. All right, now let's put some on. <sighs> just applied a coat of it. I gotta say, I am not a fan of the applicator. Looks like that. Um, it is just like a plastic applicator and it doesn't really help to move the product around. Holy cow, my lips are on fire. Um, at first I was putting it on, I was like, I don't feel anything. Let's just wait a couple seconds for the magic to happen. I don't know if any magic is gonna happen. Um, but since it's a matte primer, I would guess that it's going to turn matte so that I know when it's ready and I can put on lipstick. But, um, I just wanted to say that I don't really feel like I need bigger lips. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of basically fine with the way my lips look now. Um, I just thought this is a new product. It'd be really cool to try out, um, just in case y'all were interested in buying it. Um, you know, maybe I'll just use this when... I feel like I want to go from Cameron Diaz to Jay-Z. I mean, it is kind of stinging, so I guess it's working. I think I'm just more sketched out. There doesn't, like, have any instructions. Like, it doesn't say, like, wait 10 minutes before, you know, or, like, it's over when it's not hurting your lips anymore. Like, I don't know. It didn't come with a little instruction thing. Do my lips look bigger? Five minutes later. It's been like five minutes and it's still kind of like glossy. I was expecting it to go matte. Let's go on the Sephora website, see if there's any insight on how this product is supposed to work. I mean, it's still like tingling, so. All right, so Sephora didn't have really any good insight. <laughs> so, I mean, 
I guess let's just zoom it in. And now here are my lips with just one coat of the Glam Glow Pumperages Matte Lip Treatment. Um, I mean they look a little bit plumper. Obviously I wasn't expecting them to be like crazy, you know, lip injections uh, plump. But I mean, I think they look a little bit more plump. What do y'all think? Now that I have waited for it to like mattify or whatever. I mean it's still not matte, but we're just going to deal with it. Um, I'm going to go in with this liquid lipstick. Um, I chose to use a liquid lipstick because I feel like they're most popular at the moment. So probably people are going to be using more. So here's the shade I'm using. It's the NYX Focus, please. It's the NYX uh, Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. Let's just slather this all over my lips. Here we go. Um, I will say it feels like it burns a little bit more when you're actually putting the lipstick on. <laughs> um, but I mean, as I was applying it, I did notice that like my lips do look plumper. Like they like not like shape wise, but like they come out more. Like I don't know how to explain it. All right, so now I'm just gonna get my day started. It is 10:04 uh, a.m. <laughs> And I will check back later on in the day, um, probably in the night. I don't know how this is going to work necessarily because I know I'm probably going to have to reapply um, this liquid lipstick. And I don't know if I should reapply the Glam Glow as well. I probably won't because then that won't be legit. So I'm not going to reapply the Glam Glow at all today. I'm just going to keep going back in with the NYX Liquid Suede. And yeah, I will check back with y'all at the end of the day. All right, everyone, it is now midnight, 12.02 a.m., um, and I have been wearing this practically all day. <laughs> um, I did reapply my uh, NYX Liquid Suede just one time. I just reapplied it one more time because, you know, with eating and stuff, it, of course, came off. I did not, did not reapply the Glam Glow lip plumper or whatever um i would say it stops tingling like stinging after maybe like 30 minutes that i already had my lipstick on um i don't know i i, th I don't really know i still feel like i look a little bit plump but not crazy plump obviously i think this is probably a product that you are definitely going to have to be applying all day. Not all day, but like, you know, maybe like one or two more times. And honestly, I don't think I would mind that. Um, I think it's like really fun. Like, I like it, you know, but I don't think I'll wear it every day. Like I said, I don't really th feel like I need a lip plumper. Like, I'm fine with my lips how they are. But yeah, I mean, I really did like this. When I first had it on, I, I did feel like it gave like a little cute plump. So I think that'll be this will be really good for pictures. And I mean, I guess if you don't mind reapplying it all day, um, I think it'll be okay. The only pet peeve I have, like I love the packaging, it's really pretty, nice and silver. Um, of course it's gonna leave like fingerprints and stuff. And I do like how you like twist it up and the little applicator pops out. But the only thing I don't like is the applicator itself. I showed it to y'all earlier, but I'll show it to y'all again. It's just like a thing of plastic. It's not even like a doe foot. And then on the, I don't know, y'all can't see it because there's product there right now. Let me see if I can get it out. No, I can't get it out. But it's like hollow. Like there's like a little dot on the inside that's missing. So basically the applicator is just like this teardrop. But the t actual teardrop on the inside is like missing. I don't know. So to me, it makes it a little bit difficult to apply. Um, I don't know, I'm just not crazy about the brush at all. Um, the smell's okay, it doesn't taste like anything, 
like I did see in some posts um, on the reviews. But I mean, I like it. It's not something that you absolutely need and you're like, I need to go get that. Like it's amazing. Like I wasn't super duper wowed by it, but I don't know. I really do love Glam Glow. I love everything Glam Glow. So I'll probably give this a few more shots. Maybe apply it throughout the day. Um, just to see if I really do like it. Uh, the only reason I didn't apply it, you know, multiple times today is because I really wanted y'all to get a true feel of, um, you know, what this actually does. And I know you're probably like, why are you filming so late? Because it's already midnight. But I was just watching the Spurs and Warriors game. Don't want to talk about it. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, we, we, we rematch them, so we'll probably win in our court but let's just not get into it um but yeah uh i mean i would recommend it if you're like someone that likes to take pictures and wants your lips to look a little plump um but other than that i don't think you need to run out to sephora or glamblow.com to get this um but if you're interested in trying it i will link uh this product down below also keep in mind that they do have um a lip gloss topper so you'll put on your lipstick and then apply the lip gloss topper the only reason I didn't get that one is because I don't really super like glossy lips I do like wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks so it would defeat the purpose of having a liquid lipstick and then putting a gloss on top so that's why I got the primer um, but you know as far as like the primer I don't think it made my lipstick last any longer um, I don't think it really did anything as a primer, so, yeah, just something to think about. But, yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, stay golden. Bye. And go Spurs go. Bye. That was dumb! It is kind of stinky. Blow. Uh, plump or plump rages? Okay. Ah! Doesn't this kind of remind you of that little thing from Men in Black where they're like, forget everything, or something like that, right? Or they, or they scan someone. No. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm gonna put it back in the box, yo. Just gonna put it back in the box. Um, I just dropped it. I look totally douchey like this.